Hey guys, uh, so it's Pablo here, and today's the 4th of July, and now that I've lived in this country for basically three years now, I want to give something in return, you know, a little present, a little birthday present in that sense. So welcome to my list of the 24 things that I love, or have discovered, here in the United States. The media. And no, I'm not talking Fox News or CNN or MSNBC. No, I'm talking about the real media. Things like The Onion, The Daily Show, The Colbert Report, because without them, I would be lost in this country. Rice Krispies. I mean, do you know how much sugary goodness is in these things? Seriously, this thing is brilliant. It's genius. <laughs> cheese sticks. And, you know, not just because it's cheese that's actually delicious, but because it's cheese that you can de-strand. It's like playing with your food. I mean, that's awesome. The Dyson hand dryers, where like, you know, you'll stick your hand in and it'll blow in, uh, it'll blow the air from both sides and your hands will dry in like seconds. I mean, it's so cool that I wish I could have like a giant version of that so that I could be all like... The Lego fan community. I mean, since being here, I've attended two brick fairs. I've been able to meet other teen fans of Lego. I've been able to find books and websites that let you learn more about Lego or even buy individual pieces. And I've been so productive building new stuff that's awesome like this that during the summer, I've actually been productive, as I said. So, thanks to all the Lego fan community, to all the a faults and t faults out there. TV shows. I mean, whether it's from a show like Archer to Avatar The Last Airbender, or even something like Breaking Bad to, I don't know, say something like Lost or other shows like that, you guys have some amazing and brilliant and very varied TV shows. But Doctor Who is still number one. Barnes & Noble bookstores. I mean, I was 11 when I first saw one, and I could not believe that there could be bookstores that were, you know, two or three floors high with such a wide collection of, you know, things to peruse and look for. High school. Ah! No, no, I mean... Okay. I mean it in the sense that there are so many classes with so many varied subjects and so many after-school activities that present so many opportunities that it's pretty awesome, you've got to admit. The Xbox 360, because... Truth be told, it's turned me into a serious gamer, and it's shown me wonders from Portal to Minecraft, from Halo to Fallout. So thank you guys for giving me endless hours of entertainment, or taking away hours of productivity depending on how you look at it. Amazon.com. This website has let me buy books and games that I really wanted. It's also allowed me to buy all these props! <coughs> the City of New York. Man, I don't know if it's the stores, or the people, or the environment. I honestly don't know what it is, but I just love that city. Period. These uh, wraparound thingies that you use when you're getting a blood test, because I'm going to tell you the truth, man. You know, I uh, am somebody that needs to get their blood drawn regularly, so having to uh, deal with band-aids and adhesives on my very hairy arms really isn't fun. So when I discovered this thing that just sticks like this and doesn't hurt at all, I decided that this was the greatest invention since You know how much I love museums? A lot, that's how much. Like, I've spent a whole week of my summer last year visiting museums at the Smithsonian type of love for museums. And not just because you guys have a bunch of them, but because they're all so varied and interesting and awesome. While you need a parent or a guardian, being able to drive when you're 16 is pretty awesome. Back to Amazon.com, it allowed me to buy two instruments that are now indispensable to me, the harmonica and the kazoo. They are awesome instruments, you should learn how to play them. Yeah. While I discovered them years ago, um, I'll tell you the truth, being here in the United States has allowed me to be, become more involved with the antics of Rooster Teeth Productions, you know? Whether it's another Rooster Teeth short that makes me want to make a crappy video, whether it's the latest Red vs. Blue episode that makes me fangirl, whether it's an episode of the Drunk Time Podcast that makes me crack up like an idiot. Everything that these guys uh, do 
inspires me in many different ways and just provides so much entertainment, so I really have to thank them. While you guys have awesome TV shows, you also have Netflix, which means that I can skip homework and instead watch TV shows that I love. Which means that after doing my homework, I can watch TV shows that I love. The Taco Bell nachos, but only when they don't have tomato. Then they're my favorite food ever. Period. Now, mostly everyone knows about it, but since being here in the United States, I've actually used YouTube more and more, whether it be to make Bionicle-related videos or not very funny skits. So thank you, YouTube, for letting me upload my dumb stuff. Kind of tied to YouTube, but in a separate category. You know, I think I've really used social media like Twitter, Facebook, and Tumblr a lot more since I've been here, which means I've had much less of a life, and I've had much more with your comments. Hashtag no life. NaNoWriMo and the Young Authors Writing Community because it's allowed me to have confidence and the chance to publish some of my poetry and even publish a novel. Stores like Toys R Us, Costco, Walmart, just because, you know, they're gigantic sometimes and you can just get lost for hours just looking at all the different kind of stuff that they have and it's just insanely amazing and stuff. Now this last one's kind of serious. Um, I mean, let me preface it by uh, saying that no country is perfect. No country is the best in the world. Every country has its good things and its bad things. And while the United States, just like every other country out there, has its um, negative qualities, you guys have a lot of things that I uh, envy, you know, uh, whether it be something like such a love and interest for education, for a... Uh, you know, following the law, such a uh, deep-rooted interest in many times helping others. You know, at least in my personal uh, case, for example, I've lived with a rare disease, and uh, seeing not just the great, uh, you know, healthcare system here, but the way that, you know, uh, people with illnesses and disabilities are not treated as less than others, but are given opportunities. All those kind of things, you know, I don't think there's a name for number 24, but it's that, it's that thing that makes people so want to come here, and it's what, um, it's what makes me be happy that I'm living in this country today. So happy birthday, United States. And thanks.